Welcome to Project Rebuild. Today we're learning how to work with PDFs and Adobe Acrobat Pro. So I'm going to turn it over to our screen here. Um, the first thing you'll need is um, a license with uh, the Adobe. So if we go to adobe.com, there are a couple different options which are available. Um, now seeing that working with PDFs, you would be using Adobe Acrobat Pro, but some of the future videos which will be coming out for this project rebuild will be digging into some of the other softwares like Photoshop and possibly Premiere. So this is where you would go, adobe.com, and they'll have different types of licenses which you can look at. Uh, so you can go to view all plans and pricing. Uh, currently, I am a student. Um, still working on my master's and so I get a student and teacher's discount but even if you don't get that it's I would highly recommend it because um, it's on a subscription basis so you're paying per month and your software is continually updated as opposed to buying a boxed version uh, which will quickly become out of date so there are different options whether you're a student um, they also have different uh, options or packages, software packages. So you could buy possibly Creative Cloud, which is what I have at the moment. It gives you access to all the different Adobe softwares, whether it's Photoshop, Premiere, Adobe Acrobat. Something like this could be super helpful. But today, all we're going to be going over is Adobe Acrobat Pro. To do what we're doing today, um, you'll not just need the viewer, but you'll need the ability to be able to make edits and combine files. And that's the type of work you can only do with a subscription. Uh, there are other softwares which do the same thing and can be saved as PDF. But I wanted to show you uh, this workflow. So I'm going to start pulling together the music for the weekend mass, which is uh, starting tomorrow and Sunday. So I have a couple files I want to start pulling in. I've downloaded some. And the others are going to come from uh, you know, third party. So uh, some of it is coming from CCLI, Song Select, which is a library. It's a company where a whole bunch of different artists will submit their songs and it's it's a, it's a licensed platform, and so uh, with that particular license, we are able to have the chords, sheet music, lead sheets. Um, it's not necessarily piano written out chords, but there are lead sheets and chord sheets. And you also have the license to be able to project the lyrics, even in a live stream. Another one is One License, which will cover all of your OCP, your Breaking Bread, your Spirit and Song. So today, I'm going to go to CCLI, Song Select. This software is just super cool, this online. Um, so I'm going to type in, this will be the closing song, and I just want to give you an idea of how this works really quickly and where I'm pulling uh, some of this music from. All right, 10,000 reasons, bless the Lord. Here we go. They have lyrics, which you can choose from. Chords, uh, lead sheet, which will come up in just a second. And then they even have harmonies, uh, particularly for singing. So if you have some vocalists that uh, don't do everything by ear necessarily. So really quickly, I'm going to find a good key for this song. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. That's a little low. I'm going to go to maybe a D. I think a D would be good. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. I think that's pretty good. So we'll keep it in the key of D. Now I'm going to hit the download button. Download as PDF. 
So I've already done this with the other opening, offertory, and communion songs. So now I have the closing song, and we have pretty much all of the music for Mass here and ready in my downloads folder. Perfect. So I'm going to start opening these up in Adobe Acrobat Pro. So we can be pulling these PDFs uh, from online, and so you can see these look super crisp and clear. Um, but let's say you have some files um, or some music that you want to prepare that are from, let's say, Breaking Bread. And you have all the music in, as already a hard copy. What I do all the time is I just scan these for my own reference. And so I've built up a little library. Um, and so I'm able to pull from that and combine that into uh, these weekend plans, these mass plans. And so I'm going to pull a similar situation, which I did. I wrote um, and jotted down a psalm. So I'm going to pull that really quickly. So I scanned it on the, the parish computer here, and then I just sent it over to myself. And we're going to include that in our weekend plan today. Here it is, super simple, it says hi. Scanned psalm. The advantage, I think, of working digitally is that for my own reference, um, I'll be showing you how to do that later, is I can link these into uh, my calendar, uh, into my digital calendar, and then I can look back and see what I've done in the past. And if I have some members in my group, um, I can very easily uh, share some of this music with them. So here's the song that I wrote. We're going to download that and open that up as well. Okay, so I'm going to pull from just one last place. One of the things that I found to be very helpful to develop is using a Google Drive. It's a great way to organize a lot of this digital information. One of the huge advantages of it too is that combined with the Google Calendar, it's all integrated and works together. So for this particular mass, I want to include the mass parts as well. So I'll be using the mass of renewal. And before I just scanned and prepared a document just for these particular mass parts. So I'm going to download that as well. And open that. So we have all of these different pieces of music open in Adobe Acrobat. We have our opening song, This is Amazing Grace, our offertory song, We Fall Down. We have our communion song, You Are My All in All, and 10,000 Reasons, which will be our closing song. We have the Mass of Renewal and our psalm. So those are the major, um, I think that's all I can think of, everything we'll need music-wise. Now, on the right-hand side, this is where we're going to be able to combine and really start editing our PDF. We're going to hit Combine Files. Add open files. We're going to add all, all of them. Combine. So now it dumped them into a binder. And we'll have the chance to start organizing that in the individual pages. So in this binder, we're now going to go to Organize Pages on the right side. 
Oh, I'm sorry. My uh, my face was in the way for just a second. Uh, there's uh, combine files is right up here. That's what I pressed. Now we're going to go to organize pages. And we can start putting it in order. It might be a little difficult to see, but I can kind of see it. This is Amazing Grace. That's our opening song. So I'm going to select them and drag them to the beginning. Next will possibly, the, possibly be the Kyrie. We may or may not do it, but I'll leave it there. Then glory to God. Then we'll have our psalm. So I'll put the psalm in the proper place. Uh, the Alleluia is good. Lenten Gospel Acclamation. Mm. We're in the Easter season now. I'll probably get rid of that. Then before the Holy, we're going to place the song We Fall Down. And then our uh, communion song, After the Lamb of God, which is actually in the proper place right now. And finally, our closing song, 10,000 Raisins. So we're going to hit close. And now, everything is in the proper order. So depending on what you're viewing um, your, your music on, now, when you're actually playing on the on the piano or with your music group, um, you can print all of this up. But the great thing about this is that it gives you the possibility of starting to transition or possibly in the future uh, going completely digital, even using iPads. So if you were to do that, um, I use my Surface all the time, the Microsoft Surface. It is a fully functional computer, super powerful as well, except um, it's also a tablet, and so I use it all the time. I'll just place it right on the music, uh, on, the, on the music stand, on the piano. It's, it's incredible. And a lot of times, what I do for that, I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll put it on, on this screen over here for just a second, and I'll show you what I see on, on my desktop here. So what I end up doing is I'm actually showing my... Uh, Uh, my surface screen here. I'll hit the view tab here and page display I'll go to two page view and now I'm able to uh, see two pages at once and especially when we get to the mass parts and the glory to God that music is two pages. Oh so you can see here there's the Kyrie and the glory to God. This glory to God is two pages and it's broken broken down so that I have a page turn. Now I'd like to kind of switch that so I don't need a page turn there. So what I can actually do is I'm going to go over here back to organize pages and I'm going to insert a blank page after the Kyrie. So if I close that now you'll see that after the Kyrie there's a blank page and now the glory to God can be found um, in one screen, in one window, so I won't have to flip uh, pages or go back and forth. So that can be super helpful if you're trying to, um, you know, streamline uh, or just display your sheet music on, <laughs> on a screen. And it looks like the rest of the music, let's see if that's in a good order and broken down nicely. Yeah, and the last page, the last song, has both songs in one window. So this is not saved yet, so I'm going to go to File, Save, or Control-S. Then I'm going to save this. On my computer, I like, I'll like i save it on the desktop so I can place it specifically. Good, and I'll call it April. 26th, 26th, 2020, uh, weekend mass. Already. I can close this now. I'll show you <laughs> the regular display. I apologize for that. So now, on my desktop, I have this beautiful little single file which is in PDF, which can be uh, 
shared with others super easily or printed or linked in uh, Google Drive and Google Calendar. So I think that's going to be the last step that I do is with this file that I just created, I'm going to print it for the weekend so I can have it on Saturday and Sunday, but I'm also going to upload it to uh, this Google Drive that I've created just to so I can store some of this just for my own reference. In contemporary music I have a little folder here which is 2020 weekend plans. And in 2020 weekend plans I'm going to create a new folder which says the month so 04 week uh, what week are we in now? I think we're in week 3. Now here I'm just going to drag and drop that folder, that PDF file. All right, it's uploaded. Now the last step is <laughs> if I go to Google Calendar now, is I'm going to link that to the particular masses that I'm going to be using it at. So I'm going to go to month view if it allows me or I can do it this way so it's going to be used at this mass I'm going to edit the event and I can now attach from my drive navigate to the file I just created 2020 weekend plans Oh, for week three. Here it is. Select, enter, press save. And now when I click on that event, that PDF music is attached to it. Now for the next day, I'm going to attach it to the 430 mass as well. That's right at the front. And save. There should be a month view. Here it is on the right side. We can go to month. And this is the view that I use all the time. So you can see it's the 24th now. These masses are coming up the vigil mass, and then there are a couple more masses here. So it's a great way to organize this digital information, which otherwise would probably be uh, completely lost, especially when we start talking about. Uh, projection slides, you know, when you're preparing all the lyrics and these either PowerPoint presentations or Google slide presentations. So uh, it's a great way to organize this digital content, just building it right into a uh, calendar. All right, so I think that's just about all I've got for today. Um, if you have any questions about working with PDFs, um, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll see if I can uh, address those as well. But uh, thank you so much for joining in and let's see, we get to check mark this particular session. Working with PDFs. Check. <laughs>